Scorpio. This is your mid-October mini Lenormand reading with messages from the Romance Angels. Uh, for your reading today, I am using the Under the Roses Lenormand deck. This is Petite Lenormand deck, 36 cards, and I will also be using the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. So if that sounds good, let us get started. Scorpio, this is a two-card Lenormand reading. I'm pulling one card for your situation, and then a second card, what is influencing that situation, your situation for the middle of October. And as a reminder, I am reading for all Scorpio suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp that may be watching. Spirit, give me one card to describe Scorpio's situation in the middle of October. What do they need to know? Give me one card. Did something flip over here? No. Spirit, give me one card to describe Scorpio's situation. In the middle of October, what do they need to know? One card, Spirit. Whoa, we have the whip. All right, and what is influencing the whip for Scorpio? In the middle of October, what is influencing the whip? What is influencing the whip for Scorpio in the middle of October? Spirit, what is influencing the whip? Something definitely flipped over there. The sun. Okay, so we'll talk about each of these cards separately, and then we're going to read them together in the next frame. All right, Scorpio, so the whip talks about hardships, arguments, conflict, suffering, purging, abuse, anger, pain, repetition, addictions, physical activity, sexual chemistry, passion, and intensity. It says that things are repeated, such as sex, physical fitness, or arguments. Now we also have a card influencing that, and that is the sun. So let's talk about the sun. And the sun talks about insight, victory, happiness, success, spirit, grandeur, confidence, fame, glory, ego, well-being, vitality, charisma, illumination, power, energy, radiance, and resolution. It says success or victory in a situation. So now we're going to read both of these cards together. For your situation in the middle of October, Scorpio, I am seeing someone here who is extremely charismatic. I'm also seeing someone who is winning. Now then you could be winning at an argument, you could be winning a fight, you could just be in a mood of just being, hey, I'm a winner, I'm winning. Um, it's like a victorious energy. Um, but this is like someone who is extremely charismatic. Now this can be like sexually charismatic, this can be physically charismatic, it can be all of these things. So I'm seeing someone who's very powerful here as well. So that is your message for the middle of October, Scorpio. Let's move to your romance angels. All right, Scorpio, these are your Romance Angels messages or messages from the Romance Angels. I'll start with Scorpio's son. You have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So actually, Aries had the same card in this position. Aries' son's dead. This is about, you know, being uh, clear on what your goals are in this whatever situation you're in romantically. Um, decide what it is that you want. And when you are clear about what your intentions are, what it is you want to manifest, you are now opening the door for the universe to bring that to you. And rest assured that as soon as you become very clear on what your intentions are, you can draw that situation, that person to you very soon. All right, Scorpio suns. Scorpio moons, chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. That's just very straightforward. There's someone that you feel like a magnetic bond with. I would actually liken this to the devil in the Major Arcana because uh, the devil is about having that strong physical connection. It's like you just want to be, you just want to like rub up against that person. You just can't help yourself. It is a like magnetic connection. So you do feel strong chemistry for someone in the middle of October. Scorpio moons. Now, if you are a Scorpio rising, passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Um, notice the submissiveness of this woman in this man's arms. Now, it doesn't matter what gender. If you are in a uh, 
female female relationship, male male relationship, male female relationship, etc. There is a strong passion here and allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's almost like allow this passion to take over. Um, there could also be something that you're very passionate about and allowing your heart to, to, to uh, allowing your heart and soul to align is allowing that energy to flow through you as well. All right. So there's something that you're extremely passionate about and it's just saying, let that happen. Okay. If you are a Scorpio, uh, rising, right. I already talked about moons. Okay. Those are your messages for the middle of October and I will see you guys back for the bi-weeklies. Thanks for watching.